I wonder how much of my life I have spent staring at progress bars like that on the screen. That's a scary thought, actually. Hello, I'm Paul Douglas. If you use BiasFX or BiasAmp and say you get a new computer, how do we get my old presets from my previous BiasFX installation into my new one? That's what this video is all about. If we have a look at my installation of BiasFX here, if we just have a look at bank one here, you can see I've got five uh, presets there which uh, I've made. What happened to me recently was my, uh, my laptop died, so I had to get a new one. And this is my new laptop and the BiasFX installation on it. When I uh, just installed BiasFX, it didn't have those presets in. How can we back up the presets from the old installation so we can restore them into a new installation of BiasFX? One thing you could do is upload all your presets to the Tone Cloud and then on your new installation, download them from the Tone Cloud. That little button there will upload it to Positive Grid's uh, cloud and they'll, they'll all be there for you to download. While that's fine, if you have a lot of presets, that's going to be very time consuming to download them all one by one. And if you're anything like me, uh, you don't upload all your presets to the Tone Cloud. I may upload one or two um, very occasionally. I tend to use the Tone Cloud the other way as a, a library of a huge library of presets for, for me to use and I download other people's. There must be a better way of doing this and there is and it, it's very easy. I should say that everything I uh, say about bias FX here also applies to bias amp. You just have to change the folder that you're dealing with that contains the settings and presets. So this folder here, C users and then your username, mine's just Paul on this computer, documents and then bias FX. You can see presets in here. You say you've got um, your old computer with your installation of BiasFX, you would get this folder and you would back it up somewhere, maybe to another computer or a, a USB drive or somewhere on the cloud. So I'm going to copy uh, this folder and I'm just going to uh, back it up. So we can see our now newly installed BiasFX. Let's go uh, back to that bank one. Oh look, it doesn't have any of my presets in it. Bank one and bank two are completely empty. All we're going to do is copy that folder that we backed up earlier into where BiasFX expects it. You can see there's a new BiasFX folder being created here by the new installation. All we're going to do is overwrite that one with the one we backed up. So just to recap where that is, it's C users Paul documents. Paul being the username you have on that computer. If I just do paste here, because we're overwriting it, it's going to check that that's actually what I want to do. So yeah, replace the files in the destination. Okay, good. So this time when I open BiasFX, I would hope to see all my presets uh, will now show. Run it up again. And let's have a look, shall we? Bank one. Oh, look, there we go. All my uh, those five presets that I had in my original installation are now in the new installation of BiasFX. If you're using BiasAmp, the process is exactly the same, it's just a different folder location. In the description uh, below, I shall make sure I put that folder location along with the folder location that I've mentioned for BiasFX. I should also mention, now obviously I'm a, a, a PC and Windows user, this process also applies to a Mac, uh, it's just the, the location obviously on a Mac is different. I shall also put the location for BiasFX and BiasAmp for a Mac in the description below. I can't test that out because I don't own a Mac, so um, I'm just going to uh, have to take Google's word for it. I'm sure if it doesn't work, you can, uh, you can say so in the comments below. I hope this video has been useful for you. Reinstalling uh, BiasFX is something that I've done quite a few times and it uh, it, it always caught me out. I shouldn't though, because it's fairly obvious when you think about it, but it, it did always catch me out that my presets weren't in the, uh, in the new installation. And of course, you don't have to just use this process only when you're making a new installation on a new computer. You could use this just as a generic backup and restore solution, just in case, you know, you accidentally deleted some of your presets from BiasFX. You know that, oh, well, 
I backed up that folder. I know I have a backup, so however much I screw my uh, BiasFX presets up, I always know that I can just copy that folder over and my presets will be as they were when I took that backup. As always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and share this video. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel. It really does uh, help me out. Hit that subscribe button. If you want to get notified when I release new videos, please also hit the bell down there uh, just underneath the video screen. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I've been Paul Douglas and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Glad I made myself a coffee for this one before we started. Oh, mate, it's actually finished. Right.